In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate DevWeb SLA, as known as Failure Criteria, with Azure DevOps. In this demo, we are using a shopping platform as our web application. We also have our performance scripts located under the scripts folder. For example, we have a purchase transaction script. Um, I've already pushed this folder into GitHub and integrated into Azure DevOps, meaning I've created a pipeline for it. Our pipeline consists of uh, running npm ci, which deletes node models if there exists and then install them to ensure a clean environment. We are running the unit tests of the project and then we are executing a Python script which consists of the following. Basically what it does is um, runs all the dev web scripts in a folder um, and we are running them using mode load. And lastly, and we are going to take the results of the performance scripts, which will, at the end of the execution of DevOps, it will create an XML files in JUnit format. And then we can fail the tasks if the unit tests failed. So we're going to run the DevOps script now. So we've executed DevWeb and we can see that we have the DevWeb logo. And uh, the next step is when we try to publish the SLA results and the SLA XML contained failures. And we wanted to fail the build in case of such failures. So we can go to the tests and see that we have some issues in the Carlist API uh, performance script with um, transaction rank percentile, which uh, was done intentionally for this demo. Also, we can go back to the entire pipeline, which I've executed a few times before, and we can go to the analytics, which only shows, I think, in the last 14 days and we have only the last execution from today, so it has a failure trend, a failed run, and that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.